guys, welcome back. Today's video is my official review of the String Joy strings made in Nashville, Tennessee. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a little bit and then change back to my regular strings to show you the difference. Now, let me play just a little bit now. The same song I played last time, which was Unclouded Day. And uh, we're gonna do that with a couple picks. I don't have my V pick with me today, but I've got my blue chip and I've got my Dragon's Heart guitar pick. And so let's go ahead and go through that right now. And you can hear how they sound. Now this is, uh, keep in mind, this is 12 days after I, I put these on. So it's almost two weeks. And you'll get to hear what they sound like, okay? So let's go. Okay, so low strings, let's go over the low strings real quick. Let's do that same thing with the Dragon's Heart guitar pick. I've noticed that the Dragon's Heart guitar pick, one of the reasons I love these picks, especially the Pure, is because they have a little bit more, seems like they have a little bit more projection than the Blue Chip pick. Whereas the Blue Chip pick sounds a little more tortoiseshelly. Uh, the strumming sounds a little bit more, let's see, how do I put that? You have a little bit of the pick noise, but it's very subtle. It's not too overpowering and overbearing with the blue chip. Um, but that I'm, I'm doing these with different picks just to show you like I did in the last video, how picks have a big, have a big impact on your tone and the tone you want to have. It's not just the strings, but in this case, the strings to me, my, my impressions of these strings is that they look like they've started to, uh, lose a little bit of the brightness they had. And I'm talking about color wise, not actual, um, tone wise, I can see where the string kind of gets, it's bright here, but then it kind of gets a little darker. And as it goes on, it kind of even seems to right in here, lose the sheen of the uh, bronze color. So I know that they have a specific type of bronze. They call it their natural bronze. We went over that on the last video. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. It, it goes over some of the aspects of their strings and more in detail about their website and their company. I've noticed that, uh, it, to me though, it doesn't feel too bad as far as sliding. Now there's a little bit of catching, just a little bit, but they're very smooth. I'm very surprised at a, a non-coated string could feel this smooth. And there's, now you can probably hear, there's a little bit of squeak going on, but it's, it's not too bad. It's 
it's very minimal. You can't really hear any squeaking in the middle of playing. Now, for my personal preference, these strings, they, they do have a nice timbre to them, a nice quality, especially on the lower strings, and I really am enjoying the, the lightness of the bottom strings. It says it's the same gauge as a medium, 13 and 17 for the bottom two strings, but to me they feel more like a bluegrass style. They feel lighter, uh, like maybe 12 on the bottom string. So what I, that causes me to now want to experiment with some strings like um, the HD lights from Elixir, the bluegrass gauges, where you have mediums on the top and lights on the bottom. Because like I said, it is gonna be a lot easier to get those bar chords out without as much effort because the bottom strings are gonna be a little bit lighter, you don't have to press it. So my official review of these strings is, I think they're a good company to work with. I think they're good strings, especially if you like to mix and match your gauges and find a specially customized gauge for you. But for my personal preference, I think the tone is a little too warm for my taste. Uh, even with a blue chip pick, which is more of a, a brighter sounding pick. Those top two or three strings, they're just a little too dull for me. Now it may be their gauge, I'm not their gauge, but it may be their specific type of bronze, that natural bronze that they're talking about, that natural phosphor. But I like a string that's gonna be bright for the, uh, the bottom string. Not like overly bright, but it's still gonna retain the characteristics of the string uh, after playing a week or two. So this string seems to, me, to my ears to have gone dead, but I don't wanna say that it's gone dead because the strings still feel like they're fairly uh, fairly new and they don't look too bad as far as corrosion. I've been wiping them down with a uh, string life a string polymer every time I play. So I think they've been cleaned very well in that sense. So I don't want to give them a bad review by saying, oh, the, they, the tone just died because to me, the difference between this and other strings that I've used like the GHS Infinity Bronze, which totally completely crapped out like after the first day of playing, these strings seem to have settled into their natural tone. They're not getting any deeper or any duller than that. So to me, I think that that string is, they say that phosphor bronze is supposed to have a warmer tone. My experience is not that way. Maybe that's because of elixir strings. Elixir strings have that coating, so the, the brightness lasts a little bit longer. And maybe there's a little bit of, they're not true to the true tone of phosphor bronze because there's a coating that's protecting them. I'm not sure. But that's just my preference. I like the sound of the brighter top string. Now, you could say, well, why don't you switch to 8020 bronze? It's supposed to be brighter. Well, because I'm not a fan of 8020 bronze, they die out even quicker than phosphor bronze. So if I put a set of 8020s on here, I may not like them at all. And I don't want to switch to something that I know I've played before and it just doesn't hold a candle to phosphor bronze, in my opinion. So for these strings, the bottoms still ring out. Those high strings still ring out, no problems in that area. Now, as far as tuning, it seems like every time you get your guitar out, you gotta tune it a little bit anyway. But I have found that some of the tuning uh, is kinda hard to kinda tweak. In other words, it, it, uh, it's kinda hard to get that B string to, to sit where I want it to. And it could be the string, it could be something else. I'm not sure, I have noticed that there's quite a bit of fret wear happening on my guitar, so it could be that. Either way, these strings are pretty good strings. And really the only way you're going to be able to tell for yourself is if you try them. So if you go to stringjoy.com, check them out. You can look at the natural, it'll say natural on the box here, natural bronze. And that's their phosphor bronze. That's their phosphor mix. And these are 13s to 56. That's their medium gauge. So as far as my official review, I think they're good strings, but they're just not for me tone-wise. Uh, I prefer a brighter attack, a brighter sound. But if you like that, maybe that low Tony Rice sound, maybe even more Norman Blakish sound, because his strings sound even more dull than these. I mean, he's got that low thump of that nice, well-worn in sound. And if you like that sound, I definitely recommend these strings because they got that low. It's almost like the sheen has been cut off the string. And so that's the actual tone that you're hearing. It's 
got a good thump to it and everything. You could probably hear that in the microphone, but for me, I'd prefer a brighter tone. So I'll give these uh, a good review. I think they're worth checking out, and I'll definitely be interested in checking out my electric guitar strings when I get ready to change uh, the strings for my Stratocaster because I'm not so much worried about coated electric strings as I am coated acoustic strings because I can leave my electric guitar strings on for like a year. I don't play them live anymore. I don't need to have them a brilliant tone unless I'm about to play on an album or, you know, since I've been working with music a lot more lately, if I'm about to cut a track or something, then yes, I want a, a pair of fresh strings. So check them out. Uh, I definitely recommend checking them out at stringjoy.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a chord, play a G chord, and then right after that, I'm going to edit this video so that I have my set of elixirs on and play the same chord, and you will hear the difference, okay? So let me strum the G chord a few times with the blue chip pick, and then when I come back, we'll still have the blue chip pick, and we'll start it, and we'll strum with the new strings on, okay? <laughs> guys we are back and um, this is the second day I've had these strings on just put these on the same day of the previous segment there and these are my elixirs these are my go-to strings these are elixir nano web phosphor bronze medium gauge although in the you know potential future I may be switching to the HD light which is the mediums on top and the lights on the bottom and you've heard me talk about that over the last couple of videos. So you can probably hear the difference if you go back to the, just the last few minutes there and hear me playing on the G chord on the string joy strings versus playing on the Elixir strings. You can hear that the Elixir have that nice brightness on the top strings. <laughs> Whereas on the string joy strings, they kind of, they're, they're very dull sounding in comparison. Not that, like I said, not that they're a bad string or anything like that. It's just that that tone is not what I prefer. And uh, that was with the blue chip pick. Now let's switch over to my Dragon's Heart Pure Pick. sound on that pick I like that pick and a pick that I just got in the mail yesterday I was really excited about that and it is the tradition light pick by V picks I wanted to try their tradition light out again with the sapphire blue and uh, they I've noticed since their original design they've kind of done something different to the tip a little bit but it looks like almost has like a teardrop effect on the tip it's kind of hard to see but it's like it curves in on the sides and then goes a little sharp there. But I wanted to try that out and it does still have an amazing tone to it. <laughs> Has a really good tone in comparison with the blue chip. Um, 
has a little bit more pick noise than the blue chip. Blue chip is just more of a smooth sound to it. Big pick. Hear a little bit more of the, a little bit more of the thickness of the scrape there. This is more subtle. And then the dragon's harp here. You can hear more of a, a sharp attack on that. Uh, I don't know, it's just harder to decide and been experimenting with picks again, which is one of my biggest downfalls. But don't want to make this video last too much longer. I just wanted to compare with uh, the String Joy Strings, my brand of choice, at least on this guitar, and that is the Elixir Strings. Still on the search for some strings from my Martin that aren't as pricey as the Elixir Strings. May end up having to settle for a Diodario. I don't know. Uh, with Diodario, it's unless they've changed. The way they do things, it seems like every other pack is a bad pack. So I, I kind of gave up on them years ago because of that. So maybe with the technology they have today and the, the research they put into their uh, NYXL electric strings, maybe they've upped their game a little bit on their acoustic strings as well. I did receive some strings in the mail the other day, several packages of these that I ordered uh, by a company called Vincent Strings. And uh, I'll probably be putting these on my old guitar that I haven't brought out on this channel for a long time. Kind of excited about that because it uses lock gauges and the highest gauge I could get of Vincent Strings was uh, lock gauges, the 12s. And I don't want to use that on my Martin or on my Breedlove here. Okay, so plus there's another company, a couple more companies I wanted to try out. I've heard a lot about. One I tried out years ago, but their strings were very awful, very terrible. And maybe now, years later, it's been like 10 years since I had those strings. Maybe Hopefully they've upped their game and uh, maybe gotten better at the string manufacturing process. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please excuse the um, Tennessee Vols, you know, uh, pajama pants here. It's kind of morning here, and I just wanted to get up and do this early. Please do check out BluegrassGuitarEssentials.com if you're interested in learning picking techniques and things like that. Really appreciate if you do that. I've got the webisodes available. You can get them in either webisodes where you can stream or download. And you can get them as a seven disc DVD set. Okay. Free shipping in the lower 48 United States. So uh, check that out and we'll see you on the next video, whatever that may be. So thanks so much for watching and God bless.